YouTube. What's up, man? Yeah, I quit. Today's the day. All right, guys. So yeah, I did actually ask my manager to take me off the schedule. Super thrilled to start the next chapter, which is YouTube full time, which actually really has been the case for the last like 100 plus days. I've uploaded uh, one YouTube video every single day and just trying to get the channel to pop off and have Devin and I, my wife Devin and I, take this thing full time and start making an income around something we love to do, which is create content for you guys, whether it is our typical fishing and outdoors content, or throwing in some fitness stuff, throwing in a little bit of skateboarding, just daily vlog style videos. You know, we wanna just have a little bit of fun with y'all and just give you what you wanna see, man. So with today's video, really all I'm gonna do is talk about a little bit of my transition to taking YouTube full time, tell you kinda where we came from, how we got the thing started, cause I imagine the folks watching this video are either people with aspirations to become a full time YouTuber, which we'll talk more about cause we'll talk about kinda like the income level where we're at and where we want to be. I'm kind of making a sacrifice, but we'll tell you. And then also the goals for the channel because we are thrilled to uh, hit the next big milestones, man. I'm talking 50K, 100K, quarter mil on up the ladder. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, quick backstory. We're gonna backtrack a little bit. We started the YouTube channel, it's been a, it's been a while ago, okay? I, st I think I started uploading drum covers. The channel's name was 3GS Drum Covers because I posted drum videos that I filmed on my iPhone 3GS. So that tells you a little bit about when we started the channel. Never really took things serious and created all these videos about drumming content, but we had a couple uploads. Then, I wanna say the next big thing was Moto Vlogs. I forget what year it was, probably 2015, 2014, 2015, something like that. We uploaded about 52 Moto Vlogs. All right, well, that was fun. Time to get to the real And so it was like one video per week for a year. From that, I think we built up to about 2,000 subscribers. And then we ended up selling the bikes and kind of stopping the moto vlogs story for another video. Then I was on YouTube searching how to hold a fish, how to hold a bass, because uh, my wife would always get these fish off the hooks for me. So I started looking that up and I stumbled upon a video by a guy named Flair, Andrew Flair. And it was like a fishing vlog. I, I didn't really know what I, I was just, I started, you know, going down the rabbit hole that is YouTube and I started watching a couple fishing vlogs and I'm like, dude, Fishing never looked this fun to me. I thought it looked pretty boring, to be quite frank. And I decided, hey, what are, what are these reels these guys are throwing? Because they sound like supercharged motors over here. Like, what is this? Zing! And, and so, you know, <laughs> maybe you got some braid or you got a DC reel. It makes this interesting noise. And like the, the, the look and shape and style of these reels was so foreign to me because I was used to just like spinning or open face reels growing up and just throwing out the bobber and worm, you know, the live bait. So to throw artificial lures, anyway. I started stumbling upon some fishing vlogs, right? That's now the main form of content that we create over here on this channel. And I was like, I kind of want to dabble in this and get back to our creative side, which is creating content for YouTube and kind of take the channel serious again. And so we started uploading videos about fishing content and outdoor stuff. And so for the first year, nothing happened. First of all, to start things off, I did a video a day for the first 30 days when I started doing the fishing content because I had this goal of you know, having a lot out there for people to look at. If they came to my channel, I wanted to already have quite a bit of content for people to watch and sift through. So we put out a video a day for the first month fishing content and then that whole first year, I stayed at 2,000 subscribers. I mean like as the fishing subs kind of rolled in slowly and I was getting you know less than 100 views per video for sure the subscribers from the moto vlogs were tapering off because they didn't really care about the fishing content so i literally saw zero results for the first year that's very important because a lot of people think they're going to get these quick results and some do um hey you can't you definitely can get quick results on youtube i did not and so for the whole first year essentially nothing happened sub stayed exactly the same moving forward the second year because we started it was late 2017 july august september october 
Maybe it was October 2017 we made the first video. Sometime around then, I believe. Through 2017 into 2018, I mean, I maybe got up to like 4,000 subscribers. Then into 2019, we started growing. You know, last year we got up to like 8,000 subs, maybe 10,000. Then this year in 2020, things have kind of sped up with us doing a video a day on the channel. And we've actually started to see some results, some money coming in. And we're starting to consider this whole, let's maybe take a plunge and go full time thing. Now, a lot of people don't go full time at under 30,000 subscribers. Anyways, with, with our current pace, I think we're on track to hit 50K subs by the end of 2020. That's like the achievable, realistic goal. And I'm so fortunate to have Devin, my wife, support on this because I literally am not going back to work and I'm focusing on YouTube before most people would because I wanna make this sacrifice and really focus on the channel and its growth, knowing its potential years down the road. Devin and I would love nothing more than to take this full time and to be able to create an income around our passion and also travel more and create better videos for you guys. Believe me, as more income starts coming into the channel, we wanna pour that back into the videos. We want to buy new gear, we want to fish new waters, we want to travel to new places and bring you guys along for these experiences, and that's gonna take hard work. I have been, since March, furloughed from my job. I haven't been working, and there was you know, that incentive for people in the customer service industry. I valet park cars. And so I've been doing that for the last decade. I mean, it's almost 11 years I've been with the same job. You know, if we backtrack a little bit, when I was 15, I started working full time. Devin and I both at a retirement community as servers in the dining room. Then as soon as I turned 18, I wanted to uh, start valeting or doing something to make some cash tips and kind of earn more of what I'm worth instead of a set hourly rate. And I actually had three jobs when I turned 18 because also I was taking photos of uh, school books, or school books. <laughs> I was taking photos with this company Company. Devin and I both were for uh, yearbooks and photo IDs and so we had three things going on when we turned 18 just working our butts off and now all that energy is just shifted into the channel now that I have more time to work on this I knew that if I decided to go back to work because now I actually have the opportunity to go back and park cars and make an income again I think that would take away from the channel's growth 100%. Even if I only worked a couple days and did the weekends, it takes away from my goal, which is to make a video a day still on the channel. And if I do miss a day, it's okay. I'm not gonna stress out about it. I'm not gonna try and burn myself out by holding myself to such a high standard, but I do have that goal in mind to create one video a day for you guys. With that being said, went ahead and asked my manager to take me off the schedule. That way I can just focus on the channel, build it up and achieve our goals at a faster rate. And we just wanna thank you guys so much for your support along the way because it has been a ride. Let me tell you what, from literally watching the first videos by these guys in the Guggen Squad, to actually getting able to fish and meet them through our hard work on YouTube and Instagram has been absolutely insane. It's the stuff you dream about. Like you, you, you look at people, I watch a lot of people to get motivation. I, I, I listen to Gary Vee, he's been a huge inspiration behind our success. I watch videos by like Peter McKinnon. Like how cool would it be to meet Peter McKinnon? It's all a possibility if you start getting out there, creating a name for yourself, creating content. I, you know, I purchased a hat of his and I tag him every time I wear that hat. I mean, this is how you get in front of people these days and have these opportunities. So let's talk a little bit about the income side of things. I know there's a lot of curiosity around it and I know there's a lot of channels that talk about how much they make, not to brag, but to show you what's possible if you wanted to start a page for yourself. And specifically in the fishing genre, I don't hear many people talk about it because, well, for one, there's a lot of money to be made and I think people will just shy away from it for a multitude of different reasons. But for me, I don't really have anything to hide. I'm a small channel. I got 29,000 subscribers. I mean, if you look at me compared to a lot of other folks, I'm, I'm right here on the totem pole. You hear me? So, so for me, I wanna give you guys a couple stats from uh, YouTube Studio. Let me get this thing on screen record. So let's go ahead and show you guys some stats, shall we? You can see here, on the page of my uh, analytics, right? This is the dashboard when you open up the YouTube Studio app. So what it's saying is uh, watch time is 1.7 million minutes in the last 28 days. Views are 257,000 in the last essentially month. I'm just gonna say month to round it out. The subscriber change is 2.3K, so 2,300 subscribers in the last month. And the estimated revenue for myself on views, this is just Google AdSense. There's a couple other ways I make money, which I'm gonna break down for you guys because there's, it's not just the views as how you earn an income on YouTube. So we'll talk about that. Is almost $1,200. Now, keep this in mind. My average CPM, which is, let me show you. And we'll go over here, we'll hit analytics. We will go to revenue, we will scroll down to the bottom. Average uh, earnings per thousand views, and, and there's other countries on here, 
but uh, is $5.61. So you can see my CPM, which is average earnings per thousand views, is in the $5 range, which I think is a good average across different genres of content on YouTube. If you have a lot of profanity in your videos, if you do like pranking style videos, if you do uh, talk about, there's, there's a lot of reasons why your videos would not earn as much income per thousand views. And then there's also different genres that will earn much more income per thousand views. Like I watched some personal finance stuff and these guys are earning like 20 plus dollars per thousand views. I mean, they're for the same videos that I make, they're making four times as much. And so yeah, different genres will, will earn a different amount per thousand views. Mine is about $5. So what does that mean? Let's go to the calculator, 250,000 views times five equals 1200 and fit. Well, we did that wrong, but essentially it's 1250 bucks is probably how much I'm going to make, right? Well, it showed my average earnings are closing in on 1200 bucks. So this is appropriate because not every view is coming from, not every view is a monetizable view, if I'm not mistaken. And then also uh, there's other countries that are watching the videos and I might earn a little bit less from that. So what is happening is when you watch one of uh, my videos and you don't have like the YouTube premium or red and don't see ads, the ads that are placed like before a video or during a video, really you're just getting paid by advertisers wanting to put their ads on your videos. So somebody who's wanting to advertise whatever ads you see on my videos, I don't even know what they are, you guys let me know down in the comments, they're willing to pay and it looks like on my videos the average is $5.50 for the last month. That's kind of like been the rolling rate. So now we're back here on the dashboard and this is where I want to show you what's possible and why we have these goals. So 250,000 views, right, is what it's showing I've got in the last month and $1,200 essentially. Now, is there a lot of YouTubers that are getting 250,000 views per video? Well, there's, there's some guys, right? So they are probably making over $1,000 per video. That's what's possible. It's very crazy to think that, but it is the reality. And it's, that's before sponsorships and merchandise and other sales and things of that nature. So I just want to throw out there what is possible, you guys, and why we're striving for these results and to go full time because there's so much opportunity out there. So not only this, but last month, July 2020 was so crazy. It was our best month on YouTube. We made $4,000 plus we got $7,000 in free products, meaning those old town kayaks. I'm sure you guys have seen our first impressions, reviews, and all of our latest videos. A lot of them have been around those kayaks and how awesome they are. Literally biggest month for us on YouTube. Essentially, that was $7,000 that we didn't have to spend for one, right? The, the company Old Town sent us those kayaks and in exchange we were gonna make about five videos for them per kayak and give our unbiased opinions on them. Because for one, they won iCast Best of Show. I mean, they're legit. So that was very cool for us. So now aside from the views, which is roughly 1,200, we also made about 1,500, I wanna say, from our sponsorships. So we, you know, we're working with a couple companies. You guys hear me preach about these products every month. And while I'm not gonna tell you the details, I don't know if that's even allowed, right? How much they're actually paying uh, a piece. We made about $1,500 from sponsorships. And that's probably around what we make each month. Uh, from them so far with under 30,000 subscribers. Plus we have our Amazon affiliate, which is all the Amazon links you see in my description about my gear, our cameras, our rods and reels that we love to use, etc. Anytime you guys purchase through those links, we earn a small commission and it doesn't change the price for you guys on Amazon. It's just because we sent you there that they give that kickback. And so you guys are helping support and grow the channel anytime you purchase any of the products through those Amazon links. So, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why to set up an Amazon affiliate account if you haven't and you're a growing YouTuber yourself, you definitely want to utilize every little bit of monetization you can if you're trying to take it full time. So we have Amazon Amazon affiliate, we have our sponsorships with a couple of brands that we work with, and we also have our AdSense. Really, the first goal for me is not necessarily like the subscriber goal or the views goal. It is the how quickly can I get my wife away from working her full-time job that we've been at for so long and get her to where we can both do this full-time together. I think that is very possible when we hit 100,000 subscribers. If you guys want to help support us on our journey, the biggest thing you could do is simply share this channel with someone who you think would enjoy the content. One thing that I think is a huge factor in allowing us to actually be able to have me not work and be able to make these videos without an income aside from YouTube is the fact that Devin and I have really always lived below our means. We've always worked very hard at our jobs, nine to five, not nine to five, I'm an idiot nights and weekends. We've always worked hard nights and weekends while most people are out, friends are out spending money. I mean, I don't think I had a weekend off from the time I turned 18 to like 25 at all. Maybe I took a, a couple 
weekends off, always working. With that being said, we just kind of saved and saved and saved. I feel like there's not enough talk about saving money these days. And not, it's not necessarily that we didn't spend a lot because we definitely, we, we, we've spent some money right on cars and just a lot of stuff you don't need to spend money on. But <laughs> the, the point is, let's say this was our income. Our lifestyle was always here compared to our income. We've always tried to save and live within our means. And so that is one thing that has allowed us this opportunity. Devin is still at the bar bartending, making good money, while I'm over here trying to make this sacrifice to build the channel and get us both out of work. And I feel like at this point, I'm just repeating myself. I really just wanted to make this video so that you guys understand our goals moving forward. And just appreciation, man, because you guys have done so much for us with all the fantastic comments, uh, all the haters, all the, all the negative comments. I learned from everything. You know, when I say something stupid in a video and I get y'all's quality feedback on how bad of a tip I just gave, it helps me grow. You know what I mean? Like I probably learned more things about fishing faster than most people would because I get all the criticism and feedback. So literally without you guys, we would not be able to put ourselves in a position to even consider this. Now, am I making as much as I was valet parking cars? No, not near as much, but I'm willing to take that sacrifice and income in the short term because I have the goal of the long term in sight, man. And I have no doubt that by the end of 2021, if we keep a steady pace, right, that anything could happen. We could have a video take off and really start to grow those subs at a much faster pace. But right now we've been getting almost 100 subs a day, which is just incredible. I would never had those results until we started uploading once per day. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. I believe we can hit 50,000 subs by the end of 2020. And I think we have a very strong chance of hitting 100,000 subs by the end of 2021. And I know some of you guys are going to say, well, Weston, you deserve 100,000 right now. Well, no, I think if I deserved 100,000 subs, I would have them. You know, if life doesn't respond to want, you know, I can want 100,000 subs all, all day but life responds to deserve. I need to deserve 100,000 subs. So there's something I'm missing. I'm not hitting the right pawns or I'm not creating the right content or we're not doing something because the other guys are getting more views than us. So we've got to step our game up and I look forward to be able to do that for you guys because I have more free time now. I've never worked this much in my life. 80 hours a week is probably, I'm probably crushing that. I mean, it seems like every waking moment I am trying to make more posts, edit more photos, edit more videos. You know, it probably takes two to three hours minimum to edit and upload one of our videos. I use iMovie to edit every one of our videos in case you guys are curious what software we're running. Just because for me, it's so simplistic. I mean, all the editors out there, there's a lot of great options. There's Adobe. I just can't understand it, dude. I have literally put my head down and said, I'm going to use only Adobe for a week and I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to learn Premiere Pro and I can't do it. And also I've been using Epidemic Sounds lately for all the music in our videos. So if you guys wanna check out Epidemic Sounds, I highly recommend it. It's like 15 bucks a month and you get all the copyright free music you want for your YouTube videos. And so if you are looking for a great place for music for your videos, check out the link down in the description. It also helps support uh, the channel when you do that. If you sign up through that link to Epidemic Sound, we get one month free of personal use and it's the same for you. If you get on Epidemic and you start using it and loving it, and you, I bet you will, you can search through sound effects. You can search through different genres. You know, we've gotten, uh, lately it's been some kind of hip hop and, and trap style stuff. You can search instrumentals only. You can get stuff with lyrics. You can, you can just uh, vary it up. Anyways, you get the point. We've been using Epidemic for all the music in our videos lately. And if you want to check that out, go ahead. I get a free month anytime one of you signs up and you'll also get a referral code if you sign up for that through their system and you can then refer friends and that will get you one free month. And so we can all just be in this together, pyramid scheme style, right? MLM, let's go. What else, is there anything else? I mean, I quit, but I'm sure this will spike some questions that I can then do videos on in the future. We look forward to making more videos once a day for you guys. With that being said, I'm gonna hop off here and start editing this thing. It's gonna be a long video. I already know, I filmed, a, I filmed a bunch, I filmed a bunch. We'll catch you on the next one, man, full time, baby. Let's go. Thank y'all so much.